Thank you. So next we have Noah that has some virtual reality. Um, augmented reality at the moment has sort of been co-opted by um, uh, fiducial marker tracking folks. Um, and uh, that basically entails holding a printed piece of paper with a marker um, in front of your webcam and your machine then renders a 3D object um, over that marker. Um, that is the uh, best looking mic stand I've seen all night. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> um, let's see if this will actually kick in, kick in from sleep. I'm not very good with mics. And make sure to take it here. I'll hold the mic. Now, this is the worst mic stand you're going to get all time. Out here. <laughs> Quite all right. Hold on. OK. Is that possible okay, to get this the mic? Calibration good. still. Okay, there you are. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, put your hand where, where they can see it. Can you do that? There. Uh, so if, let's see. Is it, could you hit the R button and then uh, Z? Once more. Okay, great. Uh, let's just hit zero out the gyro. So anyway, this is a uh, tracking inertial um, glove. It's being a little finicky. Um, yeah, okay. uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. and, uh, yeah, so it's basically a uh, paintball glove with a whole bunch of bend sensors, uh, variable resistance flex sensors, hot glued into the fingers. Uh, there are three in the thumb, a couple in the wrist, a multiplexer in here. So seven, eight thousand dollars worth of. I know ultimately um, this ends up being, I, I think it's probably a hundred and fifty dollars worth of parts in this revision. Mm. Um, wow. Hopefully the, the, in kit form it'll. I don't know. I'm hoping to, to sell kits for 200, 250, something like that. I, I'm, I'm not sure yet. Mass production would cost a lot less. Um, the whole thing's running off of an Arduino Pro Mini uh, from SparkFun. Um, there's a lithium polymer battery here um, and an elbow. Uh, I lo sensor. This looks like pops popsicle sticks to me, right? It's actually um, architectural uh, modeling basswood, um, <laughs> which, uh, and but same same difference. Um, and this Ac is did he say actually? On our show, if uh, someone says nice. actually, you have so, to drink. So this whole thing, <laughs> this whole thing's written in processing from scratch, and um, so well, there's an environment there, and if we. Do a little over-the-shoulder view. Um, let's lose that uh, and reset this again. There's still there's still some gyro drift issues. The um, uh, hit R one more time for me, thanks, Jerry. Um, and dude, um, you could roast marshmallows. I can't even tell this. Um, you know what? Here, let's do this. Reset. And why don't you hit R one more time? There we go. Um, so, uh, come on. Okay, so there's a little interface there, uh, which is sort of the best I've been able to do in limited time. If I then tap on uh, these cubes, oh, come on. Uh, can you hear me at all? Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Um, you know what? Depth perception is a little hard without stereoscopy. Coming up, who's got stereoscopic out there? <laughs> you know what? Forget it. This is okay. Um, so then I can grab these and move them around and place them. And so, I mean, it, it doesn't do much yet, but I think the implication is pretty clear. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> Woo! But if we want to. Please. One more feature. Um, I've also, oh, whoops, there, there we go. Oh. Yep. <laughs> that joke's never been made before, in fact. Can you make, can you make something that would keep me from playing with my balls on screen? Um, George. We don't have the technology yet. <laughs>
the uh, last thing is I took a Vuzix VR920 head mounted display. It's not stereoscopic yet. Uh, in a previous iteration, I was actually passing the feed from this webcam into the processing app, but because processing compiles to Java, it was insanely slow. Uh, the, and um, I was using JMyron, which is a, uh, a machine vision library. I'm hoping to port everything to um, open frameworks instead of processing and use, um, and use OpenCV, which will be much faster. It'll be natively compiled C++. Um, but uh, for the moment, um, because, oh, please tell me, it is so not working. That's a shame. I would have to restart the app, which I'm going to do, if you don't mind. Um, well, while you're doing so, that, okay. oh, yes. here, the, the goggles track, there's a built-in magnetometer in the VR920, um, and there's a processing library uh, for it, so I can rotate the field of view in the environment with the head-mounted display, uh, which is actually why I wrote this in. Um, if I had it hooked up, I could then, um, oop, you get it. I can do everything that I just showed you in third person from first person. Um, I'm working on integrating a second uh, glove and a torso tracker and GPS and so on and so forth. So, where do we learn more? Yeah. Thanks. So, so uh, we'll make sure that we get links to you from fatmanandcircuitgirl.com, but if you want to send them directly to your place. Um, I have a blog going right now. I'm going to move it fairly soon, but for the moment it's at augmentation.wordpress.com. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh,